Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be talking about the movie Knives Out. Now, initially I thought this movie was going to be like a murder mystery. Oh, it is a murder mystery movie. But I thought it was going to be more like the film Murder Mystery with Jennifer Aniston, which is also really cool. I thought it was going to be set like a typical murder mystery where people go in a house and they're trying to inspect a murder that happened and who did it. But it's more so in the eyes of the main character. Now this movie is packed with so many actors. Just even in the, the front cover of the film is like you can just see so many actors in it. And there are also a few Aussies too, which is awesome to see Catherine Langford and Tony Collette. But yeah, it's just overall packed with so many ac good actors and it's really cool to see and it's a really fun movie. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. It was a really cool murder mystery type film. So we have the grandfather, Harlan Thromby. I think that's how you say it. I cannot remember the last name. Now he is a mystery novelist and he has a wealthy family. He has a lot of wealth and he is found dead with his throat slit. So we've got Daniel Craig's character who is Benoit the detective, he's trying to work out who did it. I think the dynamic of the family is really interesting. They're like really out there, crazy family, rich, just really larger than life type of family. Now everyone thinks that he committed suicide, but the detective is thinking that maybe he didn't because they see that there's the blood spatter and it seems like someone was in the room because the way there was no, ob it was like nothing was in the way of the blood spatter. So. No one could have been standing in front of him and slitting his throat. I know, brutal stuff here. But yeah. Another main character it centers around is Marta Cabrera. And she is a South American nurse. And she's really close to Harlan. And he clearly has some sort of affection for her. She's obviously really close with Harlan. I like with this film, as I mentioned before, I thought it was going to be more like the like a typical murder mystery, which it is. But I feel like with this one, it's like the audience... We are almost the ones who are inspecting the house in a way, or inspecting the murder. So quite early on, we see the scene, um, surprisingly, we actually see what actually happened. Now it starts with Marta, so she's the nurse with Harlan, and she's administering his medication. What happens is, the medication falls on the ground, and she picks it up without really looking at it, and straight away, my husband's like, she's going to give him the wrong meds, because he is a carer as well, and he... He has to give his clients medication and he knows how important it is. And that is the number one thing that you should not get wrong. Like it is so super important. So I'm watching it thinking, are you stupid? Like look at the medication, read it. You dropped it. It's all scrambled on the floor. Read the medication. Anyway, so she gives him the wrong medication. His life is in your hands. You need to take a little bit more care. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's a movie. So yeah. So basically... He took like 100 times the amount that he's meant to take um, of morphine and he's going to die in 10 minutes. So we have this situation where it's like crazy. It was actually quite emotional. Um, it was really well acted and you can see Marta's clearly in distress saying you're going to die. Anyway, she goes and tries to see if there's the um, the antidote or the medication that will help him and, uh, in an emergency. And anyway, it's not there. Of course it's not there. Harlan is really interesting in that moment because he actually was trying to help her. Instead of being angry at her like, you've killed me, he's trying to help her get out of it. And he's like, think of your mother, you know, you can't be caught. You guys will be out of the country and it's really important. In that moment, you're probably going to laugh, but I seriously was like, is she his daughter? Like, do we, are we going to find out that she's actually his daughter? Because why does he care so much about her? Why is he not angry at her? You know, and I guess maybe actually it's because patients and nurses or carers, I should say, have that bond. You know, she's with him every day, I'm assuming. She's his nurse, she's his carer. And, you know, he doesn't want anything to happen to her. He knows it's a mistake. He knows she didn't mean to. Also, something that bugged me about that was, why can't you just wait? How do you know that you definitely... How does Marta know she definitely gave him the wrong medication? Like, can't you just wait? Can't, okay, can't you just wait till you see symptoms before you act on this? Before you realise, you know, I'm going to die and I'm going to kill myself. You know, that bugged me a little bit. I thought, why couldn't you just wait? And then he's like, don't call the ambulance. It's, it's, it's gonna, They're not going to be here in time. You're going to get in trouble. So he just saves her life, basically, and sacrifices himself and commit suicide and it's really brutal as well the way he does it he then before he dies he tells her a way to get out of there so he in detail tells her 
you need to go this way, that way, drive out this exit and go this far, then come back and get changed and all this stuff because he's clearly a mystery novelist so he knows how to write murder mysteries therefore he would probably plan in his head and know how to get away with murder I guess really because it's probably something he's written in one of his books. We also later see a character Ransom who is Harlan's grandson played by Chris Evans. He's a really interesting character because at the start you think that you know he's been cut from the family will so um, the next sort of scene you see that they're going to read out Harlan's will and the family are there. They're all excited. They're like, we're getting this, we're getting the house, we're getting this much, whatever. And then they find out clearly that they're not going to get anything at all. But then you find out that Ransom was going to get cut from the wheel anyway. Um, it seems like Harlan didn't really have a good relationship with his family at all. They're not very nice people, to be honest. Um, but you know that I knew it was going to happen when I saw there was a letter and it said it's for the best or something along those lines. I thought, oh my gosh, they're going to get nothing. And I bet you Marla's going to get everything because she's his daughter. But she's not his daughter. But that would have made like a lot of sense. Then Ransom sort of goes to Marta, helps her get out of this crazy situation because you've now got the family chasing you being like, you need to forfeit the will. Like, hello, who are you? Like, are you kidding me? You need to give us the money. Like... I understand the family's perspective, to be honest. I really do understand because I think it's a little bit unfair that they're blood relatives and they get nothing at all. Like, I get that they're horrible, whatever. It's a movie. But yeah, it's like, it's a bit crazy, to be honest. So Ransom's like trying to help her and like, you know, come with me and everything. And he gets her to trust him. She trusts him enough to be like, I murdered your grandfather. Even though she didn't, but she thinks that she did. Towards the end of the movie, we see that Benoit, the detective, gets a blood test to see, you know, the results of what actually happened. And long story short, his blood is clean. Of course, he had been given the right amount of medication. But then we see Benoit discover that Ransom is the real killer. There's a lot of other reasons why that he discovers he's the killer. With Fran, we see that he, yeah, he staged the murder, basically. He wanted Marta to switch the medication and administer the wrong medication and for her to get framed for his murder. Evil, evil person. I didn't actually pick that up and I thought it was really clever with that old lady. I can't remember. She's like a, the grandmother or something. And she's like, Ransom, when Marta was climbing down the, the ladder trying to get out of the house and everything and run away. And she just looks out the window and sees her. And I think, oh my gosh, great. But in that moment, she's like, Ransom, you're back again? It didn't click to me that he was there. That means he must have been up there and been in his room and switched the medication. It did not click to me at that time because that was early on in the film. That was a cool moment. That was clever. Yeah, I just thought that moment was there more so for like, oh my gosh, one day she might remember that Marta, like recognize Marta and go, you're the one who was climbing down the ladder. That's what I thought that moment was there for. I did not realize that was that sort of clue that he was the one who actually killed his grandfather. He changed the medication and actually Marta was a good nurse that she gave him the right medication. Even without looking at the label, she knew exactly what was the morphine and what wasn't. And, um, yeah, she actually gave him the right dose and he didn't need to kill himself, really. But in the end, he probably would have died anyway because Ransom really wanted him dead, I guess. I must admit, I was worried that that would happen. Um, as in, I was worried that Harlan didn't have the wrong medication in his system and that he was going to be okay and he killed himself for no reason. That kind of did happen. But in the end, as I said, I believe that he would have died anyway because Ransom... Yeah, he would have killed him. In the end, we see the family and they're like, okay, Marta, you know, you've got to give us the money. You've got to forfeit the will, surely. In the end, you just see her in the mansion. She's not forfeiting the will and she's got all of his inheritance and she's like a badass. And I thought that was a really cool ending. It was um, a cool twist to see that Ransom was the killer. I thought it was really cool. I thought the movie overall was really good. I still felt it was a little bit uncomfortable, the fact that the family got nothing. I, like, I don't know, I just, I find that weird that, like, yeah. Although, Ma as I said, Marta is not a stranger. She had a relationship with him as in being his nurse. Like, there's a, a bond there. And she is kind of like family, like, caring for him. So, I get that. It's just so weird that they got nothing. And I feel like it's a little bit, like, unrealistic. Like, I wonder, do some people not give their family anything? Like, does that happen? 
It is Hollywood though, but yeah. There's also little moments throughout the film of like um, one of his daughters, Harlan's daughters, was the daughter or daughter was getting cheated on and he's trying to like fix that. I guess overall he sees his family has a lot of struggles, has a lot of, um, they're doing a lot of things wrong and um, that yeah, money's not the most important thing really and that they don't need it. But yeah, overall, definitely a good film. It was a really good, interesting watch. It had really crazy characters and everything, but it was really entertaining and really interesting. And I loved how it had so many famous actors in the cast too. It was just packed with stars, and I thought that made it more interesting, to be honest. So yeah, I hope you like this review. Let me know what you think of the movie. Have you seen it? Did you like it? Who did you think was the killer at the start? What did you think happened? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching.